Medina too. Medina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Uh. Okay. Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. Unless they're indoctrinated and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? There's no way to be certain, but I've got a definite possibility. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Okay. We've got some uh, defectors down there there. Surely, what the fuck? Kyling's dossier. Dossier. That's it. Got a minute. Uh, Durleshmol. Meet me at the bar. Okay, I've already met you at the bar. Citadel interview your cabin. Oh, I see, I see. Checking in, Ashley Williams. Uh, fuck you then. Eat shit and die. I mean, I offered you a space on the Normandy and you just fucked me up. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. That didn't sound ready like intercom. Ready for a intercom. check, Commander? I'm Just ready. Saying. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus' strength in the coup attempt was their sleeper agents. If those agents had been exposed, a lot of lives might have been saved. We need constant vigilance. C-Sec and the troops can't do this alone. We've lost a major portion of our government, the most obvious human figure being the Counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Gah... Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now, a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. What the f- she's a les- what? I didn't know that. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think- uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Right. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Now that sounded like an intercom. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. 
Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. Nah. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Shepard. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? I'm a soldier, Vega, and I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone, and they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collectorship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. As a leader, you've got a job to do. Keeping everyone alive isn't it. If you're afraid to send your troops into a do-or-die situation, you'll never succeed. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Okay, I was worried there for a moment it would get sexual, but it didn't, so we're safe for now. Um, right. Uh, okay, but I didn't hear anything. What the missing, uh, missing uh, voices and stuff? <clears throat> Please don't get stuck in the cockpit. Please don't get stuck the in the Turians cockpit. will hold. Pound for pound. They're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there. He's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Nah. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. You said that asking you abstract social questions may lead to unreliable answers, so I stayed silent. I didn't realize this would be an ongoing issue. Let's air it out. I was considering this. For all their supposed intelligence, the Reapers are more easily destroyed than they think. 
This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Synthetics are created with a goal in mind. Just ask their creators what it was. But my creation was planned by Cerberus. I no longer serve their purposes. Well, Cerberus was originally created to give humanity a fighting chance. Right now, that might be a goal you can get behind. It would take significant resources and processing power. Do you think I would find it worthwhile? Well, you could do it as a favor to me. I'd make a pretty crappy husk. How would this differ from our present course? The difference is you decide it's worth it. No one tells you it is. I see. I will examine this issue. Shepard, I have examined the issue. Yeah, that was the fast. Reapers threatened the crew of this ship and other organics who were helping me develop perspectives on existence. Were I to approach Reapers to request similar perspectives, it is likely I would be destroyed. I would rather risk non-functionality with the crew of the Normandy than risk it alone. Glad to hear it, Edie. Good to have you on board. Ah, uh, she's one of Whoa! Oh! Oh, I'm glad I didn't get stuck there. That would have sucked. Anyway, moving on. Someone else has to have Commander, something to say. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Yeah, uh, no, what? Okay, uh, crew deck first. Let's see what Dr. Chakwas has to say. Among... Hello, Garrus? Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Oh, this is where I'd be the big world's biggest asshole. If they hadn't backed down, yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Yeah. Still, I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. Losing one was enough. Yeah, I'm a fucking asshole. All right, so where is uh Right, she's in the medical. <laughs> Makes sense. She's in the med bay. May I speak with you, Commander? Yes, you may. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. We'll see. The trade would benefit both parties. If you decide to, the man to speak with is Tactus. He can be found near the Citadel docks. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our medigel. That's nice. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, Doc. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray. But it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Busy? 
I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Yeah, 109? Oh, wow. Well. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Or you could keep fighting. I know. It's just... difficult. Watching you get shot at out there. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. The Reapers would have been here years ago if I didn't. I wish motivating everyone else had been as simple. At least the galaxy always had you. Lucky galaxy. I certainly think so. Let's talk later, Shepard. Yes. Getting close there to get some blue I'm ass again. Maybe. Maybe. Right. Um, I was supposed to s go see what's his face. Uh, Adams. God knows why. Um, where the hell is he? Right. Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when the IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. You got it. Shuttle Bay. Huh. This is interesting. Anything good? Batarian state opa Kestel helmet, I remember this bitch. Ooh. Canala exports. Weapon damage. You never know. Casa Fabrications Fabricaciones Okay, anything, anything, no, nope, no, nope, no nope. Melee damage, don't give a shit Power reach SP, don't give a shit nah, I'm gonna buy this, it's cheap And the Valkyrie Cheap Chakaram launcher, it's cheap. Rigor rifle, cheap. Uh, <clears throat> what the hell is this thing? Gift plasma SMG, looks funky, yo, yo. 
Anyway. Igor Munitions. Oh, me likey. Kawashi Visor. Kawashi Visor. I might just be building a custom uh, armor set out of, out of all of these. So, Sipatine Armory, no. And Acos thingy. E gel therm. Is this the. What the fuck? Is this thing dead? Hello? Doggy? Um, wait a minute. GX something thermal. Okay, let's go back to my cabin and uh, see what we can come up with. So, what do I care about? Weapon damage, headshot damage, ammo capacity would be nice. <coughs> let's see. Okay, helmet. No. No. Kawashi Vi- Oh, weapon damage, yes please. Sentry interface. Castle helmet. Oh! Recon hood. What the hell? Security helmet? This is weird. Where is it? Kawashi visor? Right. Headshot damage. Let's see. Shoulders. Oh, no, chest. Uh, shield regen. Power damage. Shield boost now. Weapon the hello? What's this? Ha Hachne Kedar. Okay, weapon damage. Works for me. Um shoulders, let's see. Casa fabrications, what does this give me actually? Shield boost, it gives me shield boost. Oh, these things, Armax Arsenal, gives me some more weapon damage and headshot damage. Uh, Ariaketek gives me melee damage and some headshot damage. Actually, no. Uh, I guess Armax Arsenal, it is. Doesn't exactly look amazing, but you know, what can you do? Arms, let's see. Uh, whoa, Armax, even more weapon damage and headshot them, but I lose a lot of uh, shield and stuff. Ariake Tech. Melee damage, but again, I kind of lose some stuff. Hakne Keda. Oh! Weapon damage. Yes, please. Um, legs. And seven. Oh. Oh, Ro Rosenkov materials. So, what does it give me? Gives me. Oh shit, I lose a lot of a lot of health boost. But I get some power recharge. Oh, ammo ca uh, capacity Armax. It seems to me that Armax Arsenal really focuses on weapon enhancement. And Hakne Kedar 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with our max arsenal since it gives me the ammo capacity. I have no clue what materials these are, but... Pattern co- oh lord. Pattern co- oh I know, I can do a camo pattern thingy. Okay, okay, I know. Um... I like me some green no this thing I guess but why that why isn't it all fucking hell so pattern color this is the pattern I guess so the problem I guess is that the tint is not right come on give me what Why don't you want to change the pattern? Okay, so... I don't know! For some reason the pattern just isn't strong enough to show on um, the fucking thing, I guess. Unless I make it black or some other shit. Uh, it shows up on... It's green. Or black. That kind of looks cool, I guess. Sort of. Red, nah. Actually, kind of like the whole black thing, the black thingy. Uh, that kind of sounds sounds wrong, I guess. Save and oh, right. Save and exit. Well, let's see how it performs, I guess. Okay. Um, time to blow this shit hole and do some actual shooting. See what we can do. Right. 